All right, so I'm going to show you how to make this dripping text effect in PhotoP. So I found a video for um, this effect in Photoshop, but I wanted to show you guys how to create it in PhotoP. So I have my text set up. Um, you guys should already be at this point, okay? Um, then I went and I found an image of some drips. So let me go ahead and open that up. Okay, so what I have here, I opened up my uh, drips that I found on the internet, and I'm going to attach it um, to this video so you guys can download it if you want to. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to cut out pieces of these drips and just put them on my letters, and then we're going to change the color, and it's super easy. All right, so I'm just going to pick a, a section. So I'm going to click on my lasso tool. And I'm going to freehand this. So I'm just going to select a portion that I want to use for uh, my um, letter. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually freehand this, draw uh, around it. I'm going to copy that selection. So Command C and Command V will paste it onto a brand new layer. I'm going to hide this one. And there's my copy, okay? So kind of like when we did Veggie Head. We made selections and we copy and pasted. So I'm going to put it right here, but I need to shrink it just a little bit because it's obviously too big. So it's a drip, so it's not going to be like a super big deal if we distort it a little bit. And then I'm actually going to change the color to white. So what I'm going to do is add an effect layer style, go to blending options, change the color overlay to white or whatever color your font is. Okay, so mine is white. So that's the color that I'm gonna click. I just clicked on that letter and it chose that color and I'm gonna hit okay and then okay. And now I'm gonna drag it behind my text layer, okay, which is right here. So I don't see any rough edges. All right, and that's it. Then I'm just gonna make some minor adjustments really quick. Just resize it, move it around, and uh, make it fit in there a little bit better. And it's that simple. So um, once I get going, another easy trick is to actually put your layers into a group. I'm going to create that folder, and I'm going to name this drip and move this into that file and make this folder actually have that white color overlay. Or whatever color your font is okay and that way anytime I put something in this folder any other drips it will um, be white and I won't have to continue changing the color all right so I'm going to repeat the process I'm just going to pick another selection you don't have to be like too um, selective so control C to copy oops you actually have to be on that layer okay so make sure that you go back to that layer of your drips. I'm going to hide it again. This is my new copy, and I'm going to move it. Actually, I'm going to drag it down into this layer, and I'll show you how it changes color. Okay, and then I can move it to wherever I want it and resize it. All right, super simple little trick. Um, it may be... Uh, kind of cheating the system a little bit because we're not making our own font, but it is a cool way to add a simple layer effect or a text effect to your type. I'm going to do this one more time. So let's take this big section right here. So use my lasso tool. I'm going to select. What I'm going to do is actually, uh, let me start over. I'm going to select a big portion of this one. And I'm actually going to put it down below. So, oops, I have to copy it. Control C, Control V. Now I'm going to hide this one, drag this one to the white drip folder, and move it. What I want to do now is um, I can either shrink this to fit, right? But I'm still going to have these gaps here. So, what I want to do is I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit. And then I'm going to actually come in here and just erase the sections that I don't want. So what I'll do is I'll lower the opacity, okay, so I can see underneath what's going on. I'm going to zoom in. So let me control 
and the plus key and I'm going to move my where I can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these spaces right here that are not on the letters. So um, I'm going to use my lasso tool, make sure I'm on the proper layer and I'm just going to drag, make my selection, hit delete. I'm going to repeat this process for each letter. This may take a steady hand. Another thing you could try to use is the eraser tool, which is located right here. Okay, so you can just come in here and make your eraser as large as you need it. This might actually be easier. It might give you, if you don't have a steady hand, just come in here and clean up those areas. Okay, uh, so make sure that you're following the form of the letter, okay? And then this one's gonna have to be really little. Get in that spot and then, so if you click one time and you hold the shift key and you come down, you should make a straight line. And if I raise the opacity back up, um, ooh, I don't like how that one ended up. So let me undo that. So control Z, actually it's not working. Undo, undo. I'm gonna keep going back, step backward, control Z. Until I get back to where I made my mistake. And um, just come in here and carefully clean up that little tiny spot. It's so small that it's very hard. So I'm gonna click one time right here and then come down and try it over here and see what happens. And uh, let's see how that works. So raise my opacity back up. I'm gonna zoom out and you may not even notice it because it's so far like that was so little. So um, I'm not sure I'm digging this piece right here so I might do something different, but that's essentially how you do it. So I just copied pieces from this drip, um, put them in a folder and gave it a white effect. So everything I put in this folder is white and the folder is below my text. So these drips are behind the text, okay? And that's it. When you're all done and you get it exactly how you want, you can go ahead and delete that and save it.